Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're gonna to be building another aircraft here, and we're gonna be building this Airbus A330 in a Cebu Pacific livery here. And unlike our last plane tutorial, this one does have a full interior here with the cockpit and crew cabin. And this is a pretty intense build, so let's get right into it. Now I'm going to be building mine in the sky, but you can build it on the ground if you want. If you are building it on the ground, you're going to want to be on the fourth block up off the ground, so there's three empty blocks of space between it. So on the fourth block up, put two smooth quartz blocks like this for the front end. Then behind this, we're going to go three wide with smooth quartz and make that five blocks long, so a three by five. Then behind this, we're going to go five wide with smooth quartz we're gonna make that three blocks long. Then we're gonna to switch to yellow terracotta and we'll come on the side and we're gonna do a line of 14 yellow terracotta. So one, four, 14. And then we'll just go ahead and fill this all in with yellow terracotta so that it's that same five block width and 14 blocks long to the back of this. Then on this back corner, we're gonna come out by one like this and then we're gonna make this 15 blocks long. So one by 15. And then we'll simply fill this all in so it ends up seven blocks wide with yellow terracotta. So a seven by 15 here. Then behind this, we're gonna step one block in from the outer edge with yellow terracotta and we're gonna make a line that'll be 13 blocks long. So one, three, 13. And we'll make this five wide in the middle of yellow terracotta and extend it all back 13 blocks here. Then on the back of this, we'll put five smooth quartz. And behind that, we'll go to yellow concrete. And we're gonna come four blocks long and five blocks wide with yellow concrete right here. Then behind this in the center, we'll go three wide with yellow concrete and then make that six blocks long. So a three by six and then two on the end middle. Then we're gonna put an oak slab here and here and here and here and one on the back middle. Then two oak slabs here, two in this corner. Then we'll come up here on this one an upside down oak stair here and here and then two oak slabs here and two oak slabs here. Then we'll come to front of this, put an upside down forward facing oak stair here and here. Then add three oak slabs on either side like this. Then we'll come up here with smooth cord slabs. And we'll put three here, three on this side, then two here, two here, and one on this front middle. Now on top of the front, a smooth quartz block on these three blocks like this. Then behind it on each side, add another smooth quartz. Then right here, we're gonna put three and start on this corner and put three, like that. Then we'll add a smooth quartz slab here and here. And we'll actually add two more smooth quartz behind it on each side here. So two here and two here. Then we're gonna come on this yellow terracotta And we'll put four yellow terracotta right here, four here, and actually we'll fill it in between this with smooth quartz on each side. Then we'll come back on this slab and do a line of yellow terracotta coming forward to your kitty corner right there. Same thing on this side, start right there, stop here. Then we'll put four oak slabs up here and four on this side so that they're aligned with the front of the yellow terracotta on each side. Then right here, two smooth cord slabs and two on this side. Then we'll come behind this on the outer edge with yellow terracotta and we're gonna bring it down until we're coming out four blocks past the end of these slabs here. Do the same thing on this side, bring yellow terracotta down until we're coming four blocks past these slabs. 
Then we'll step in and bring yellow terracotta till it's over the smooth quartz on each side like this. Then we'll put three slabs of oak here and three here. Then we'll put a smooth quartz block on each side, then do yellow concrete to the back of these slabs. Then we'll step in again and bring yellow concrete to the back of the next set of slabs on each side. Then we'll put a yellow concrete on the back and on these top three blocks a single slab like this. And then two slabs here, two here. And now we'll come back up front for the next layer. Now come on top of the front. On this second block back on each side, put a smooth quartz slab here and here. In the center, a smooth quartz block. Then one block here and here. Then step back and over again, one here and here. Then start on these smooth quartz slabs back here, and we're gonna come three blocks past the slabs. Then a single smooth quartz slab on top here. Do the same thing here. Start on top of that, come three past the slab, and then one slab here. Then we'll add two more blocks here, and two here. Then we're gonna come behind this on this outer edge, and start bringing it all the way down with a single line of smooth quartz blocks. And we're gonna stop above those slabs right there. Then do the same thing on this side, line up with the back of these slabs, and then fill in a full row of smooth quartz blocks across here. Then we'll come back here with the yellow terracotta, and we're gonna bring that back till it's three blocks past this set of slabs. And same thing on this side, bring it back till it's three blocks past these slabs. Then we'll put two yellow terracotta here and here, then a slab here of oak and a slab here of oak. Behind this, a smooth quartz block on either side. Then go to yellow concrete and bring it two blocks past these slabs. And same thing on this side. Then we'll step in on each side and bring it back aligned with this slab on either side. Then we'll put an oak slab here and here, a yellow concrete in the middle, and then two oak slabs in this corner right here and two in this corner right here. And now that layer's done, and we'll come back up to the front again. Now come up here, put three smooth quartz blocks like this, then black stained glass in a pattern like this, and one on each side like that, so it's all kitty corner. Then in each of these four corners, we're gonna put a black stained glass pane to round off the window. Then we're gonna come out to the edge where this corner is, and we're gonna put five smooth quartz blocks coming back. And then five on this side. Then behind this, we're actually gonna knock out this block and this block, and we're gonna put a door in each of these gaps. Now we're gonna take smooth quartz stairs behind the door and do a line of eight backward facing stairs, and then eight on this side for the windows. Then behind this, knock out this block and put in a door. Knock out this one and put in a door. Then behind that, back to smooth court stairs. And this time we'll do nine backward facing stairs. And then nine on this side. Then we'll knock out this block again and put in a door. And same thing on this side, knock out this one, put in a door. Then back to smooth court stairs and start bringing it back. All backward facing. And we're gonna come out and stop one block behind the smooth quartz below it. Same thing on this side, come out one block past the smooth quartz right here. Then back here on this back slab, we're gonna knock out this one and this one on this back slab and we'll put another door in those gaps. Then across this, we'll put backward facing oak stairs right here. And same thing here, five oak stairs right there. Then right here, yellow terracotta, coming one block past this slab. Then one yellow terracotta here and here. Then one slab here and here of oak. Then here and here, a single smooth quartz block. Then bring yellow concrete to the back of these slabs on either side. And then we'll put three yellow concrete here and three here. Then we'll put one in this middle and on the 
the back, we're put an oak slab here and here. And on this center back here, put an observer like that for the APU. And I will come back up front. We're gonna take out a smooth cord slab. And we need to get one here. And then one here and here. So it's kitty corner like this. Then kitty corner one here. And then one here. Then on this outer edge, we're gonna start one block back from this slab and put a smooth cord slab on either side. And then we'll start bringing that down across the top of these windows. And then right here we come over the first oak stair. And then same thing on this side, fill this whole row in with smooth cord slabs and bring it back across the top of the windows over here. And we're gonna stop above the first oak stair on this side. Then we're gonna bring oak slabs until we're right here one block before this slab. Then same thing here, oak slabs across here and stop right here. So now all our windows are filled in and we're gonna come all the way up front with smooth quartz blocks. And we're just gonna start filling this all in behind the slabs. And we'll go ahead and fill this whole roof in in the middle here with smooth quartz blocks. Then stop where the smooth quartz ends up here. And behind this, we'll start filling this whole roof in with yellow terracotta coming back. We're gonna come right to the end of this five block wide gap here. Then behind this, two rows of three yellow terracotta in the middle, then a row of three smooth quartz. Then behind this, we'll go three wide with yellow concrete and bring that back, stopping right here. Then four yellow concrete on the very back middle here. Then an oak slab here, another one here, and then two oak slabs here. Then we'll put one oak slab in each of these corners up here. And now our fuselage is pretty much done. And actually we're gonna come up here and we're gonna knock out these three and put in three more smooth quartz right here. Then one right here in the middle and then behind that up one we put a smooth quartz. Behind it in the center, four yellow concrete. Then we step back and over and do three smooth cords here, and then a four by three of yellow concrete behind it. Then we come right here, and we're gonna do another three, and another three by four of yellow concrete behind it. Then right here, we're gonna do a column of two smooth cords, and two rows of four yellow concrete behind it. Then three smooth cords here, in a four by three of yellow concrete behind it. Then we'll come on top of the front of this here and do two yellow terracotta coming forward. And then we're basically gonna step down one and forward one over and over till we get to the bottom. So they all step down one and forward one. And we're gonna bring it right down to the body of the plane here. And then we'll just fill in this whole gap in front here in the center with yellow terracotta and we'll bring it all the way up the tail. So just fill all this in. Right up to the top here. So that's the tail design and then we're going to detail it so we'll come right here. We're going to add another yellow terracotta then an oak slab here and here. Then going up all these, we're gonna put a forward facing oak stair coming up. And on the top one, an oak slab here. Then we'll take out a lantern and we're gonna put one on the top middle right here. And now we're gonna round off the top. So we're actually gonna go back up to the front of the airplane here. So we're gonna come on top of the front with smooth cord slab. On the fourth block back in the middle, put a single slab. Then behind it go three wide. Then we're gonna come down the outer edge of it like this on each side with smooth cord slabs coming all the way back. And just 
just keep it coming here. Then when we get to the yellow terracotta section, we're gonna switch to oak slabs on each side. And we're gonna bring it down to here and here on each side. Then we'll come on the front middle of this here. We're gonna do six smooth court slabs in the middle, then a smooth court stair facing forward. Then six more slabs, then another stair facing forward. Then six more slabs, then a lantern, and then slabs down the middle. And then right here, four oak slabs in the center. And that rounds off the top nicely for us. And now we're actually gonna come up under the front end here. Because this yellow extends forward a bit and wraps up a little. So we're gonna come right here in front of this yellow terracotta and we're gonna knock out this three by three of the smooth cords. And we're gonna change that to yellow terracotta. Then in front of that, we'll actually knock out another three by three of the smooth cords. And we'll change that to yellow terracotta as well. Then we're gonna take off these three smooth court slabs and change them to three oak slabs. And then the three blocks above it need to go to yellow terracotta. And then same thing on this side, change these three slabs to oak slabs. And then change these three to yellow terracotta. Because there's this little part that wraps around the bottom. And actually that should be connected on bottom. So we're gonna come under here and also change these three bottom blocks to yellow terracotta. And of course, same thing over here, change these three bottom blocks to yellow terracotta, like that. Next, we'll do the tail wing. So we're gonna take out stone brick slabs. And we're gonna come right here and put one slab here. Then we come back and over and we're gonna do three. Then back and over and we do one. Then we'll put five slabs in front of this. So that's six blocks long now. Then two here. Then we come back one and over one. And then back one and over one. And we'll fill this all in in the middle with slabs. And then we'll rinse and repeat on the other side. So we're gonna come with our stone slabs right here, put one here, back one over one, and do three. Then back one over one and do one. And I'm making sure I'm building it the same way here. Then we'll add another five slabs right here. Then here we do two, then one, then one and then fill all this in with slabs. And that's it for the first section. Then we're gonna add three slabs on top here, like this, because the next section's gonna raise up one hitbox here. Then we're gonna add one in this corner, another one here, and then come back one and over one, do three, then back one over one and do one. So it goes two, three, one. Then we're gonna bring four slabs up right here. Then one here, then two, then one. Then we'll add two right here. So it's all filled in like this. And you can pause the video there if you need to see the pattern. And then we, of course, are going to copy it over here, so we'll add three slabs on this hitbox. And then we're going to come on that same upper level now. Put four here, another one here, come back, do three here, and then one here. And I'm making sure I have it the same way, because I already forgot. So we'll come back over here. And we're gonna do one, then one, 
then two, then one, and of course, we'll go ahead and fill in the center with our slabs here. I actually add one there. Now it's correct, and then fill in the center. Then we're gonna put on our elevators. So we're gonna take polish andesite slabs, and we're gonna change this row of three to polish andesite. Then this one. Then these two. Then these two. Then repeat over here. So we'll change these three to polish andesite slabs. Then this one. Then these two. And these two. And now our tail wings are all completed. Now we're gonna put on our cargo bay doors here, so we're gonna come up front on the bottom of this side here. And right here, we're gonna knock out these three blocks. Behind that, we're gonna put three smooth stone blocks right here. Then three yellow shulker boxes here for the cargo door. Then there's also a back one. So we're gonna come back here on this side on bottom. And right here, we're gonna knock out two rows of four here and here. Then we're gonna add four smooth stone in here. Then we'll take yellow shulker boxes, two here, one here, a white shulker box here and here. We'll fill the rest of it with yellow shulker boxes. Now we're gonna do the base of our wings. So we're gonna come one block behind where this stair is and one block up with smooth stone block, start here, and we're gonna do a line of 12 blocks coming back. Just like that, right under that door. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna start right here with smooth stone block. One block up and back from that stair and do a line of 12 blocks coming back right here. Then we're gonna start one block back from the front of this with another row of 12 smooth stone blocks. So start right here, and we're gonna bring it one block past the back of this one. And then copy on this side, so one block back from the front, and do a row coming one block past the back of this one here. Now we'll go to stone brick block for the rest of the wing. Right here, we're gonna come one block over, back, and up, and we're gonna do four. Then we'll come back one and over one, and we'll do another four. Then back one and over one, and a third row of four. Then right here, we're gonna come straight down to the back of this smooth stone, and then we'll come straight across right here, and then square it off with the front of this. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and fill all this in with stone brick blocks here. And then once that's filled in, we're of course gonna do the same thing on this side. So we'll take stone brick block, one block back, up, and over. And we'll do four, then come back, another four, then come back, another four. Then we'll come straight to the back of this smooth stone here, then straight across, and square that off with the front of this. And then of course, we're gonna fill all of this section in with our stone brick blocks, so the wings filled in here. All the way till the whole thing is filled in. Now we'll do the next section of the wing, still with our stone brick block. And the wings actually curve up a bit, and that's why we're doing it in sections. So we're gonna come off the back corner of this, and we're gonna come up one, over one, and back one, like this. And turn this into a line of four, then come back one, and another line of four. 
then we're gonna come straight forward right here, stopping one block before the front, and make this two here. Then come back and do two, come back and do two, come back and do two. And then we will, of course, fill this whole section in with stone brick block. on this side. So we'll come right here, come over one and up one and back one, do two, come back two, come back and do two, come back and two. Then here we'll come straight back till we're one block behind this, and we're going to do four, and then four. And then fill all of this section in with your stone brick block. Just like that. Next, we'll do the final wing section, still with stone brick block. We're gonna come on the front of this, and same thing, we're gonna come back one, up one, and over one. So right here. Then we're gonna do two, then come back and do one, come back and do two, come back and one, come back and do two, come back and do one. Then right here, we'll bring these two till it's one block behind this. Then this one till it's one block behind here. Then these two to that same row so it's three long here. And then right here, come one block behind this and extend all the rest of this back to that same level. So it's like that. Now we're gonna do the other side. So same thing. We're going to come one back, up and over from the front of this. We're going to do two, then one, then two, then one, then two, then one. Then right here, we're going to come one block past this. And we'll make the back so it's two, then three, then four, stepping back. And then go ahead and fill in all of this wing section with our stone brick blocks here. And now the basic shape of our wings is done and we'll start adding details to them. Now we'll do our winglet. So on the end of this wing, we're gonna come up one, back one, and over one and do an oak stair. Then two yellow terracotta, then an upside down stair behind it. Then a forward facing stair up here. Then we're gonna do a lapis lazuli block and a dark prismarine, and an upside down oak stair behind that. Then up here, four oak slabs like this. We'll of course do the same thing for the winglet on the other side. So come all the way down to this end, and starting from the front, one block back, over and up. We have two yellow terracotta here, a stair on the front, and an upside down stair on the back. Then another stair on the front here, then a lapis lazuli, dark prismarine, upside down stair. Then four oak slabs up here. Now we'll do the flaps to take out smooth stone slabs and start on the bottom hip box. Right here, we're going to do a three by three of smooth stone slabs. Then here, we're going to put two stone brick blocks, then a stone brick stair, then a slab on bottom. Then another three by three of smooth stone slabs right here. Then two stone brick blocks, a stair, and a slab. Then a three by three of smooth stone slabs again. Then two stone brick blocks, a stair, and a slab. Then up here, a three by three of smooth stone slabs. Then two stone brick blocks, a stair, and a slab. And then, across the bottom of all these sections, we're going to fill with polished andesite slabs out to here. Then we'll do the other wing. So go ahead and come over here. We'll start right here. Do a 3x3 three three with smooth stone slabs. Then two stone brick blocks, a stair, and a slab. Then a 3x3 three three of smooth stone slabs. Two stone brick blocks, a stair, and a slab. Then a 3x3 three three of smooth stone blocks. Two 
two stone brick blocks here. Stair, slab. Then up here, a three by three of smooth stone slabs. Then two stone brick blocks, a stair, and a slab. Then take polish and site slabs across here, and then across all three of these sections out to the end. Then we're gonna come on the front with our polish and site slabs, and we're just gonna put slabs on the bottom hitbox of the front of every single wing section coming in. And we're gonna bring it all the way in to the last stone brick section. And we will repeat over here. So start on this stone brick and put polish andesite slabs across the bottom of all of these wing sections on the front. And do that all the way out to the edge of the wing. And now we're gonna go to stone brick slabs and detail these flap actuators. So right here, we're gonna put three on top here then three right here, three on this one, and three on this one. Do the same thing on this side. So we'll do three here, three here, three here, and three here. Then we'll detail the bottoms of them. So we're gonna come down here, start one block before the back of it, and we're gonna do four slabs here, then four on the bottom of this one, then four right here, then four right here. And of course, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So come under this one, do four here, four here, then four right here, and four right here. Just like that. Now take polish andesite slabs, and we'll do our engine pylons. We're gonna come in front of this section flap actuator here. Skip two, do two slabs. In front of it, we're gonna do five polish andesite blocks coming forward. Make sure that's five blocks long. And then two slabs on the bottom on front of it. Like that. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. So come under here, in front of the second flap actuator out. Skip two blocks forward, do two polish andesite slabs, then five blocks, then two slabs on the bottom, on the front. Now we'll do the engine. So under this, we're gonna put five smooth quartz blocks. And we'll actually add one more sticking out on the front, so it's six long. Then on the bottom hip box, on either side of that, we'll put six smooth quartz slabs here, and six slabs here. Then six smooth quartz blocks on this side, and then six on this side, leaving the middle open. Then we'll do a row of smooth quartz slabs on the bottom of each side, and a row of smooth quartz blocks down this bottom middle here. Then we're gonna come to the back of this, and we're gonna put a smooth quartz stair upside down here and here, then a smooth quartz slab here, here, and here. Then we'll put two polish andesite like this, a polish andesite slab here, and a stone brick wall on the back. Then on the front of this, we'll put smooth stone slabs in these corners, and then smooth stone blocks like that. And that's the basic engine design. And we're gonna just repeat the same thing for the engine on this side. Once that's done in the front of the engine, put an iron bar and a skeleton skull. Same thing here, put an iron bar in here and a skeleton skull. Then we're gonna do our landing gear, so we're gonna come under the wing at the back of this smooth stone section. And we're gonna put a smooth stone slab right here on the third block in, then two rows of three smooth stone blocks coming down. Then we're gonna knock out these three yellow terracotta aligned with it and then the three above there. And up in the second level, fill it 
with smooth stone block up here. Then three oak stairs upside down like this. Then we're going to repeat it on the other side, so come back here. Right here, a smooth stone slab, then two rows of three smooth stone blocks. Then we knock out these three aligned with it, and the three above there. Then up in that top three, we need to get three smooth stone blocks. And then we'll get three upside down oak stairs right here. Then we're going to take diorite walls right here in the middle. We're going to come down by four. So it comes down two past the smooth stone. Then we'll do the same thing on the middle here. Four diorite walls. Then on the bottom one, on the front and back, we put a sideways birch fence gate. And same thing on this side. Then we're gonna take out a block of coal for our tires. And we need to get one block of coal on the side of each fence gate so that there's four wheels on this bogey like that. And then same thing here, we're gonna get one block of coal on the side of each fence gate on either side of it so that there's four wheels like this. Then we're gonna come up on the front of it and we're gonna put a skeleton skull on the bottom of each one and two birch fences above it on each side. Then up in here, we're gonna put three birch fences across here, and then a sideways birch fence gate right here. Then repeat, so come up in here, put three birch fences, and then a sideways birch fence gate on the middle right here. So it looks like that. Now we'll do the front landing gear. So we're gonna come up under the front here, down here in the center we're gonna knock out three of the center blocks right here and then on either side of that we need to get three upside down inward facing oak stairs on either side like that for the doors and then we actually need to fill this middle in with three smooth stone blocks. Then right here we're going to put three diorite walls coming down the center. On either side of it put a single block of coal. Then right here a birch fence gate, above it a skeleton skull, then a birch fence. Then behind it up here a sideways birch fence gate. Then we're going to go through and put an item frame with an iron block on either of these wheels. And then we're going to get all these back wheels. So we're going to go ahead and put item frames with iron blocks on all eight of these back wheels here. And now the landing gears are fully detailed. And I think next we're going to round out these wings just a little. So take stone brick slabs and come up here. And right here, we're gonna put four slabs. Then on this one, we're gonna do bringing it forward till it's one block before the front. And then on this one, start on the third block in, and then stop two blocks before the front. And we'll repeat that, so two blocks back, and then stop two blocks before the back. Here, bring this forward till it's one block before the front. And here, we're going to add four slabs right here, just to round off that wing slightly. Now we're going to add some livery details here, so we're going to come up on this tail. And we're going to come up here, and we're going to change these two blocks to dark prismarine. Then behind this, like that, we're going to do two columns of three, and change that to dark prismarine. Then one up on this corner and one right here, both dark prismarine. Then we're going to change this one to smooth quartz, and then this one smooth quartz, and then this one. Then we're going to change this one to lapis lazuli, and these two to lapis. Then we'll come up here, 
Do a lapis here, here, and here. And then also that one, and that one to lapis. And that's the tail detailing. And then we have some details to add up on the front end here. So we're gonna come up behind this door, change this to a lapis lazuli block. Then we're gonna change this stair to a warp stair, and these two to dark prismarine stairs. Then we're gonna come down right here, and we're gonna knock out this block, put in lapis, then a second block of lapis, then a dark prismarine block, and then this will be a dark prismarine stair. So it looks like that. Then we're gonna come up here and take out these three slabs and replace them with dark prismarine. And then up here, we're gonna take out these three blocks and replace them with dark prismarine blocks. So it looks like that. And then we have to do it on the other side. So we'll come over here, change this to a lapis lazuli block. Then down here, we're gonna do two lapis, and a dark prismarine block. Then this will be a dark prismarine stair. Then this first stair is gonna be a warp stair. Then these two are gonna be dark prismarine stairs. Then up here, we're gonna take off these three slabs, change them to dark prismarine slabs, then change these three blocks to dark prismarine blocks. Then we gotta do where the lettering is, so we're gonna come above this door on the wing and start one block in front of it. We're gonna knock out four of these blocks and put in dark prismarine. Then we're gonna skip one block back and knock out another four and put in lapis lazuli blocks. Then we'll repeat it at the same spot on this side. So we'll change these four to dark prismarine skip one and change these four to lapis lazuli. And now everything on the outside is done. So if you're not doing the inside, you're complete. But we are gonna do the interior in the tutorial here. So come on in through this front door and we'll do the cockpit. We're gonna fill this bottom like this, three wide with lodestone blocks. And we're gonna come back till we're right here. Then up here, a lodestone in the center, a polished blackstone slab on top, one slab here. Then we're gonna put a glow item frame with end crystal on either side, and then a tripwire hook here and here for the side sticks. Then we're gonna turn around and put a blackstone brick stair here and here for the seats, and we'll also open a dark oak fence gate above each one. Then in the center here, we're gonna put a redstone comparator for the throttles. And that's pretty much it for the cockpit design. So right behind these chairs, we're gonna add a two by two of quartz block on either side to close that off. Then we'll put a door right here. Then behind this, we'll do two more rows of three lodestone in the middle. And then there's gonna be a bathroom over here. So right here, we're gonna put another two by two of quartz block. Inside of here, we'll put an end portal and then a door over that. On this side, we'll do a storage area. So we'll do a two by two of quartz block here. And we're just gonna put two bookshelves right here. And that's the front section. Then we're gonna fill in the floor of this section with lodestone. Behind this, we're gonna move to the side and we'll bring lodestone back till it's in front of this next door here. And then down to this door. Then we're gonna do a row of blue wool here and here, and then lodestone in the middle. Then up here, there's gonna be a galley. In the center right here, we're gonna do two rows of three quarts. Then we're gonna put a cauldron, fill it with water, hit it with light blue dye, and a tripwire hook. Then two blast furnaces here, then an upside down polished andesite stair here, and a flower pot here. Then we're gonna skip one block back and do two rows of three quarts block in the middle to block off this galley. 
Then we're going to come behind this on the outer bottom edge and we'll start bringing a full row of lodestone back. And we're going to bring it all the way back to here. And then as you probably guessed, we'll bring a full row of lodestone back on the other side and in the center. And we're going to bring it all back to that same level stopping right here. And then we'll come back up and fill both of these side gaps with a full row of blue wool coming back on either side. Right down to the back here. Now we'll come back up in front of this door and we're going to put two quartz block right in front of the door on the side here. Then two on the center and two on this side. Then we'll skip two blocks behind it and do two rows of three quartz blocks in the center. And this is another galley, so we're going to put two blast furnaces and a cauldron. Then we'll come up in front of this on the side, skip one block, put two quartz here, an end portal here, and we'll put a door over that. And we'll repeat on this side. So two quartz blocks right here, an end portal here, and we'll get a door over this. So there's some bathrooms and another galley. And now we're going to come down to the very back here. Then back here, we're going to put three lodestone across where this back door is on the bottom middle. Then two in the center here and two more blue wool on either side. Then fill the rest of this with lodestone coming back until you're right here. Then we'll come up here and we're going to take out smooth quartz block. Actually regular quartz, sorry. Put two here and two here. Then two here and two here behind the door. Then we'll put an end portal on either side and another door on the front of each one for the back bathrooms. Then we'll put two quartz blocks in the center right here. Then we're going to come back in here put three quartz blocks across here, then five across here, then one on each of these side holes. Then finally back here, we'll put a cauldron and two blast furnaces. Now fill the cauldron with water, hit it with light blue dye, then a tripwire hook, over here a stair, and a flower pot here. Then we're gonna come in front of this and start putting in our seats. And we need to be actually one block in front of these doors. And we're going to put a warp stair on either side and in the center. And we're going to do that coming all the way forward every other block on all three of these rows. We won't be able to get the correct number of seats just due to the scale of Minecraft. But this will look pretty good. Then we'll come past this galley here. Fill this one with water. Hit it with the light blue dye. Then a tripwire hook, a flower pot, and a stair. Then we'll come through here, come in front of this right here, start putting a warp stair on the middle in each side, every other block. Coming forward here. Now that's the overwing exit, so I'm not sure if stairs actually go there, but I'm gonna put them. And now we're at the front of the plane. Now, to detail these seats a little better, we're going to come all the way back here and we'll start at the very back row of seats and we're basically going to come down both aisleways here and in between every set of stairs on both sides we're going to put a warp fence gate and open them and that'll put the little armrests on the chairs. in the middle here and here then behind this one on either side like this then we'll come back here and we'll put 
one in the middle here. Then one here. Behind this, one on either side again. Then we'll come down to the back. Back here, one on either side. And we can also come around here and put one here to light up this back. Then we're going to come up on this wall between the torches. And we're going to put an item frame and a blue stained glass paint in it. We'll do the same thing on this wall up here. We're gonna do an item frame and a blue stained glass paint. And now we are finally done with the interior here. So there we have it, folks. We finally completed our Cebu Pacific Airbus A330 with full interior. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. I know it was kind of a long one. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, everyone.